we took a class this summer to learn how these robots worked. And so we started a little club in the beginning of the year, and then it kind of formed into a whole unit in the fifth grade. And this Lego Robotics project, the Robot Zoo, became our final project. Yeah, we wanted something where the foundation was math skills, but the kids didn't even realize at the time they were solving word problems. Uh, engineering skills, they had to build the robots. Um, creative skills, decorate the robots so they look like an animal. Uh, and the programming skills was a lot of it, because once you had the structures in place, how to make it all work, it was difficult. First, the robot had to resemble an animal in some way. And then they had to have some physical features that looked like the robot. And then we also had some programming requirements too, like it had to involve a sensor, so something that senses the outside environment. And then it also had to have a loop which controls how the program flows. They're not remote controlled little cars. You put the program into the robot, you put it in its environment, and then it does live like an animal. So it senses its environment, it navigates where it is, makes it sounds. So it's much more active than uh, little toys. I think it will carry over for some of the things they can do in the future, not just summer camps, but some of the ways they'll approach problems actually was helped by it. Um, that was problem solving skills and maybe they will be our next roboticists. <laughs>